Who does not love Venice? And uh, I've uh, had an ongoing relationship with that beautiful city for many years now. Um, when I'm back here in the United States, I draw a tremendous inspiration from this wonderful photo that a friend of mine made of the island of San Giorgio Maggiore uh, across the Giudecca Canal with a beautiful view of these gondolas. Wonderful lighting here. And I try to capture this and other images of Venice in a uh, string quartet that I've written called Impressions of Venice. I wrote this for uh, the String Quartet of Venice at their request, and I thought I would share some of the material with you. Uh, just having looked at these gondolas, <clears throat> I should say that the um, principal idea of, of this whole string quartet, which I'll just be illustrating here at the piano, is in fact a gondola song. And it goes something like this. Actually begins with these, uh, these delicate notes that are like drops of rain falling on the surface of the water in the Grand Canal. And then the sun comes out and the gondoliers begin to sing. Venice is very rich in its imagery and in its uh, cultural layering. And so there are segments that, uh, for instance, try to evoke the uh, music of the Campo dei Mori, you know, the Moor of Venice. <clears throat> and there's a whole area that's, uh, that's sort of centered around that theme. And in that, I asked the string quartet players to do some percussion effects uh, using their feet and slapping their knees and so forth to give the effect of, uh, of drumming. Uh, there's another passage which is devoted to the Jewish ghetto. Um, and I was very moved when I first visited this area and saw a plaque on one of the walls of the buildings uh, commemorating those Jews who had been deported during the fascist and Nazi period and um, responding to that, I wrote uh, a section in this piece that's sort of uh, honorific and, um, and dirge-like at the same time, and I based it on a gondola song by Mendelssohn, himself, of course, a Jew, um, and transformed it into something that was kind of uh, honorific uh, to these people who were who were deported. And then later in the piece, there's a little allusion to uh, Gregorian chant, you know, something like this. depicting the 
banks of the Lido that evening at sunset. And the lovers are carrying on their dialogues. At the same time, they're hearing vespers from across the canal in one of the churches. Uh, and there are a few uh, allusions to earlier periods of music here, too. Uh, Venice in the days of, uh, of the Republic, in the days of the Serenissima, uh, was uh, a big sponsor of, of music. And uh, for instance, in one of the early movements, I used the two violins uh, as if they were trumpets heralding the, uh, the golden angels that you see adorning the facade of St. Mark's Cathedral. Uh, and I'm alluding here to uh, a style of writing that is, um, that is more medieval or early Renaissance. It's something like this. So I wrote this piece a few years ago for the String Quartet of Venice, and they've played it actually probably a dozen or more times around, uh, around the world. And uh, we always get a very positive audience reaction. It's a, a colorful piece, a vivid piece, at times emotional, um, at times evocative. Uh, it's one of many pieces that I've written that um, are based upon Italian themes and Italian images. And uh, well, I hope you enjoy it. 